The district attorney's office in DeKalb County doesn't get the conviction they wanted in the case of Anthony Hill. You may remember he was the unarmed uh, veteran who was killed by a police officer. And tonight, could there now be some political ramifications? Joining us now, CBS 46 political analyst, you know him, Dr. Rashad Ritchie. So Rashad, what's your take on this? This tragedy took place in 2015. March 9th, 2015. It's important for people to remember that the district attorney elected in DeKalb County at the time was not Sherry Boston. Right. It was actually Robert James. Robert James went to the grand jury and secured an indictment for this police officer. And I remember back then, a, a district attorney James saying, you don't get clearer than killing an unarmed naked man for, for murder. You don't get a clearer case for murder. He then lost his reelection in a Democratic primary, not because of that, but because of some other prosecutions where politically it just didn't go well for him. So Sherry Boston was in charge of this prosecution. Today, even on my radio program, a lot of people in the Cap County are upset. They thought this should have been a slam dunk. It is important to note also that he was convicted of lesser charges, aggravated assault, violation of oath of office, as well as providing false statements that could carry a maximum of 35 years, which will be decided on November 1st. Yeah, and the jury was divided on racial lines. We heard from yes. at least one of the jurors. But we do want to get to uh, this one because there was an election tonight. Um, the Fulton County Commissioner, not a lot of people turned out. The rain didn't help either, uh, but you got some new numbers from that. Uh, I got new numbers. Only 6,000 plus people showed up for the regular election to fill Emma Darnell's seat in Fulton County. We're talking about 100 and 20, 130,000 residents that they will represent. So this is still a low turnout, even in the runoff. Right now, Joe Karn is leading that race and probably will be the victor. Uh, this is interesting because it has not received a lot of fanfare. No, not a lot. And of course, we'll have the update for you on yes. the CBS 46 app. And also to this one, because we've been talking about this story, uh, looking forward to it, really, the, the um, Democratic debate coming here to Metro Atlanta. I know you've been working the phones. Yes. Do we know where it's going to be held? This is November 20th. Right. We don't know yet. We don't have the exact place it will be held. But I will tell you this, based on the conversations I've had today and yesterday, I know they were looking for a college or university to house this at. It seems as if that did not happen and will not happen. But today I've been told that the party chair, Nakima Williams, a state senator out of Georgia, she is right now in Ohio hmm. to settle this debate about mm -hmm. the debate, right? So she should have um, a, a statement tomorrow about whether this will be held. Well, it's just so interesting too, because our area is so unique because we have so many historically black colleges and universities. Yes. So on social media, some folks want them to be held mm -hmm. at Morehouse, Spelman, Clark Atlanta. Here's what I heard from my sources. They wanted the same. The Democratic Party wanted this. Uh, the chair wanted this of the state Democratic Party. But you're talking about logistics. You have to have a certain logistic protocol in order to accommodate the crowd because each candidate has to have a certain amount of tickets. Each individual who's represented there, they have people that they want to bring. So you got to have the right space to make this work. And that may not be the case with some of the colleges here in Atlanta. Yeah, politics within the politics. That's right. <laughs> Rashad Ritchie, as always, thank you. Thank you.